Yesterday, when Acting President Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu arrived at the Quarantine Comprehensive Secondary School for its 18th annual graduation ceremony, he was greeted by opposition protesters. Details in this report. <laughs> Anything over 60, I get work with you. Anything over 60, graduation is waste of time. Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu, upon his arrival at the Quarantine Comprehensive High School's graduation ceremony yesterday, was greeted by a line of protesters who stood outside of the school's compound. The men and women had gathered to protest against the recent unilateral appointment of retired Justice James Patterson to serve as GCOM Chairman by His Excellency President David Granger. Chan Late News spoke to a few of the protesters who shared their grievances. Look at this placard. This stayed by itself, right? It stayed here. Um, Granger wants to hijack GCOM. And this is telling you about the chairman, right? He operated it in a night. Although a list of 18 set of people were submitted by the opposition leader, yet Granger did not appoint none of that. He appointed a uh, senior citizen of 84 years old who is not qualified to be the GCOM chair, right? And so Patterson is not qualified to be the, the chairman. And during the night, right, during the night, he operated during the night and he, he, he appointed uh, the darkest night, the Wally night. My name is Vigili Moti. Nagamutu sell the people out. And this is a old man government. All them 70 or 80 year man you take. And a young boy walk a street and smoke dope. And them are cause this in this country. All the violence that happen. It's a, it's a government that cause a Nagamutu to shame. PPP councillor attached to the Region 6 RDC, Mr. Zamal Hussein, was also at the scene of the protest and made his input, saying, We are here this morning, the People's Progressive Party Civic, we are here this morning to protest the, the Prime Minister because he is in collusion with the EFC APNU government to, with the unilateral appointment of the GCOM chairman. This is one of our main concerns. We are asking the President and the Prime Minister to rescind this decision because this is an unconstitutional decision. And we are asking also that the Moses Nagamutu, who is the Prime Minister, should speak out against this dictatorship because this is very unconstitutional and it is going to hamper the results of the next election because this is a recipe for rig elections as we are back in the days in the 80s. So we are asking that the decision of the GCOM chairman be rescinded immediately. Every time or the Prime Minister or the President come into this region, we will be protesting and this will be an ongoing exercise every time they appear in the region. While making his feature address at the New Amsterdam Secondary School's graduation ceremony held later that day, the Prime Minister addressed the issue of the protest. I saw some picket lines outside and I was wondering what it was all about. Why we are coming here to congratulate you for a future that you have bought a lean into, a future of hope. I've seen others decide that they will protest against the possibility of losing power some years in the future. You see, politics, they say, is about the possible. And unfortunately, politicians always look towards the next election. It is the state's person who, look, who would look towards the next generation. And we are looking here at the next generation, and we are looking at you with pride, with confidence, and want to encourage you to move forward. Retired Justice James Patterson was sworn in by His Excellency President David Granger on October 19th. The protesters were adamant in their plans to have a protest every time the President or Prime Minister attends an event in the region. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.